Over the years, one of the coolest features about Google Tag Manager has got to be the preview mode. With the preview mode, we can download a container that's still a work in progress, or we can even preview previous versions of a container that's live on the site. And the cool thing is that this preview version doesn't impact the actual live container on the site. So it's a great way to test whether or not a container works on the site in the actual live environment without it actually polluting the data by collecting work in progress information from your site visitors, for example. But the preview mode that we've been used to thus far has been problematic because it's docked into the site itself. There's no way to kind of remove it from there and, and operate the site in a separate window. And the other issue is that it doesn't really persist. The information in the debug pane has always been confined to the current page only. Well, with a recent very, very impressive feature release, Google Tag Manager has now released a new version of the preview mode. It's intrinsically linked to Tag Assistant, so it's now actually part of the Tag Assistant ecosystem. With the new preview mode, we have lots of new features at our disposal. The debug window is separate from the pre preview interface itself, so you can debug the site as much as you like without having an intrusive panel appear there. All the information in the preview interface persists from page to page while you navigate through the site. So you have a single source of information for all the navigation paths through the site. And once you add the Tag Manager extension itself to the browser, even more features are added to the mix. In this video, I'll walk you through the changes in this new preview mode, reminding you that it's still somewhat a work in progress. We're gonna see lots of new features in the near future. And I also direct you to read the accompanying article, which is linked to in the video notes. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments if something's still unclear about this new pretty spectacular feature to Google Tag Manager. To enter preview mode, you have the same options as before. To preview the workspace itself, you would click the preview button in the workspace header, or you can go to the versions tab and preview an earlier version by clicking the overflow menu and then choosing preview from this list. The difference between the previous flow is that um, previously when you went into preview mode, Google Tag Manager would briefly take you to another domain where it writes a third party cookie in your browser and then it would display you the orange preview information bar in the middle of your um, container dashboard. The problem with the previous approach was that it uses third-party cookies. So with modern browsers such as Safari, Firefox, even Chrome, when in incognito mode, you would not be able to use preview mode without some workarounds. So the major change from a technical perspective is that preview mode now uses first-party storage. Um, everything happens with, with first-party cookies. And, um, and you can read the article accompanied in, this, in the video notes for more information about the technical layout of things. But let's go into preview mode and see what happens. When you hit the preview button, a new browser tab is open. And this is now the Tag Assistant interface. You can see that we have the Tag Assistant branding up here. And then we have an information um, overlay here that says start Tag Assistant. So Tag Assistant is now the, the home of Google Tag Manager's preview mode. You'll need to add a URL here. This is very important. This, you'll need to add the URL to the site that you want to preview, obviously the site that actually has uh, the container. You, can, you'll, you should keep this checked. Um, this is used for the site to determine whether or not it should start preview mode. So this will add a URL parameter into the URL. Um, and in case your site is built in such a way that URL parameters don't really work, you should uncheck this instead. But it does mean that it's going to be a bit less reliable um, to start the preview mode because it actually uses the referrer instead, which is a very unstable thing these days. But anyway, add the URL here and click start. So this is what it looks like when Tag Assistant has connected to a debug window. So the debug window was open to the URL that you input into the overlay and it's actually opened into a separate window which you see here. The window itself will have this preview badge in the lower corner saying that the debugger has connected. And the other thing you'll see is that there's this pulsating fab icon on the Tag Assistant interface that tells you that it's now connected.
If you ever lose the connection, things will change here. So for let's just close the um, channel from by clicking to quick preview mode is as easy as clicking this uh, cross on the site itself. So now it's erased the first party cookie and you'll see here that tag assistant has lost connection. So lost connection to the page being debugged, not connected reads up here and the and the title of the tag assistant interface will change as well. If you reload the interface, it will now say that you start again. So let's start the flow again. It will connect the window it opened previously and now the debugger is connected again. So as you can see, Tag Assistant is completely separate from the window being debugged. We can do things here. We can actually even minimize the badge. So we can do things here and they will show up in the Tag Assistant preview window. We can even click to other pages and again, they will show up here so you'll have a full history of everything that's happened. This is now a new page that I visited and this is the first page where I actually opened the Tag Assistant in. You'll be able to see what the API calls are. So API call is now what a data layer push used to be called. It's named API call because it's not just for data layer pushes, it will also include um, GTAG API interactions. But you'll be able to see you know what was pushed into the into the data layer what the what the values are after this push you'll be able to it's this is very similar to how preview mode used to work under tags you can see all the tags that fired uh, when you have an event selected you can open that tag and see the fields um, with their values and so on this is all very very similar to how how um, the previous version of preview mode worked the main differences are what you see here. So you have the full history of the navigation. You can inspect not just data layer pushes, but also GTAG, and you um, have a separate debug window from the site itself. And as you can see, um, Tag Assistant automatically detected that I also have GTAG running because I have Atlas Web's web tags running on the site as well. So it automatically detected that. So it shows me that there's also an Atlas Web uh, container here which kind of shifts things around and shows you the perspective from Atlas Web. There's no longer a tag fired um, over here. It's now hit sent instead. And you can see um, all the all the Atlas Web hits that have fired. So um, you'll be able to do, open those hits and see the parameters sent to Atlas Web. The important thing about debugging GTAG is that it doesn't require you to authenticate in any way. Basically, you can open any site that has GTAG running and take it to preview mode through Tag Assistant. Um, this is because there's nothing really, it's not a container in itself that you can modify. All the interactions with GTAG are done on the site itself. So there's no hidden information there. There's no tag names or variables that you don't want to share with others. This is all information that is publicly available without having to specifically go into preview mode with GTAG or anything like that. And this will also show you all the GTAG um, interactions. So for example, uh, let's do a, a theoretical thing. Let's say that I'm um, sending a video, video start event to GTAG and this is the syntax I would use. When I now open the uh, tag assistant, I can see that the API call just changed to GTAG it's instead of a data layer push. So now I can see that this is the type of GTAG event that was sent. I don't have um, uh, a GTAG instance configured for this measurement ID because it's running through Google Tag Manager. That's why you don't see anything in hit sent. But this is um, this is how it would end up. You would see here a video autoplay start event if I had GTAG configured. But this is the basics of how Tag Assistant works. To quit Tag Assistant, you have two options. The one I already showed you, so you can just click this uh, cross here. And when you click it, it actually sends a signal to Tag Assistant and tell tag, tells Tag Assistant to quit debug mode as well. You can also quit uh, preview mode from the Tag Assistant, assuming the windows are still open. So by clicking this, it actually sends a signal. If you choose to stop debugging, it actually sends a signal to the debug window and instructs it to remove the first party cookie. So if I now click stop debugging and then take a look at the site itself, you can see that the badge disappeared and this site is no longer in debug mode. If I go back to debug mode and the window is still open, 
um, debug mode will be reloaded in this in this initial window. So clicking this will actually just it won't open a new window. It will just simply re-establish the debug connection between these two windows. If I click debug mode through Tag Assistant and I check the keep the domain cmohab.com enabled for debugging, it actually won't send the signal to this debug window to delete the first party cookie. So if I'm now on the site, you can see that the the, the debugger is still still active right here. It just won't find a debug window to communicate with. So I can I can now just kind of reopen this and it will establish the connection again. If it so happens um, that I have closed the debug window and then I, I quit debug mode through this, this here, um, now the site will still have the first party cookie. So you'll still see the preview badge here. And this is simply because you closed the window so the channel was closed as well. So it's an easy thing to the next time you visit the site, you just close the badge and preview mode will stop. This will show a list of domains for which you currently have debugging access. So these are domains, in GTM's case, uh, these are the domains that you've authenticated against in preview mode by clicking the preview button or using a shared preview link. And then obviously for GTAG, it's you have access to the preview data even if you haven't authenticated in any way. Um, sharing preview is currently a bit of a work in progress. Um, the workflow is being improved. It's not there yet. Uh, sharing a version preview is very simple. You go to the version itself, click the overflow menu, and then share preview. And this will give you the, the link. You'll want to add a destination URL here. This will give you a link that you can then copy and then paste into um, to a target browser. And now that browser will be in tag assistant mode with an authenticated Google Tag Manager instance. So now users who don't have access to your GTM will be able to follow that version link and debug it um, with Tag Assistant. If you want to share the uh, workspace, it's a bit, this is the part where the workflow currently fails. So you first need to take it to preview mode yourself, and then you can simply copy this URL in the address bar um, and it will it will it will authenticate the user against this Google Tag Manager container preview. If you want to pre-populate a URL, you can add the URL parameter here and then just put something over here, which will then um, open the um, Tag Assistant overlay in the URL that you input. So this is how you would share the workspace. But this is a work in progress. I'm pretty sure that in the very near future, this will be revamped completely and the flow will be made much, much more simple. So before we, we wrap things up, let's take a look at uh, one additional uh, workflow that is, that is definitely going to be interesting to folks. So let's install the Google Tag Assistant extension. So here we go. I have Tag Assistant installed in the browser. And you don't actually need to do anything. Um, Tag Assistant preview mode automatically detects that you have the Tag Assistant um, extension. So let's see what the benefits are in using the extension. So let's go to preview mode first and see what happens when we actually enter um, preview mode. So what happens is that preview mode is actually opened in a new tab rather than a new window. And this is because with the extension, additional technical limitations or, or these technical limitations are lifted that forced Tag Assistant to open a window in the first place. So we can now use preview mode in the tab. We can even uh, use the console as before. Um, in the window mode, this console would also be opened in a new window. We can even go to mobile emulation mode and preview mode will still work. This is all available thanks to the Tag Assistant extension. The other cool thing is that you'll see that there's a new um, colorful badge added to the, to, the, to the tab bar itself. And this corresponds with um, pages um, listed here. If I open a new link, let's quit debug mode, uh, mobile mode first. Let's open a link in a new tab you can see that the tab gets its own color, a red square in this case. 
And now you can see that I'm debugging both of these tags, tabs in the same instance. So I can keep clicking here, you know, keep going. Let's go somewhere else through, through constant mode tab. Do I have any links here? Oh, yes, I do. Let's go to tag manager tags. And you can see that they are both they both appear in this um, tag assistant interface. So this is very cool. You can actually debug multiple windows um, um, at the same time uh, through Tag Manager. And they all get their own little color-coded thing um, with a pattern as well. So you'll be able to monitor all of them in Tag Assistant preview mode. Um, other benefits of, of using the extension is that, you know, you can you can debug iframes as well. So if you open an iframe uh, tag assistant to a site that's that has the container, tag assistant will de uh, detect that and actually output the uh, information here. Um, and you can even debug if the site opens pop up windows or separate windows by itself, they will all appear in tag in the tag assistant interface. So my recommendation is to always have the tag assistant extension available in the browser. You don't need to use it if you don't like it. What you, you just need to have it available in the browser and it will automatically link to uh, preview mode in the new tag assistant interface. So it's a very, very useful thing to have there uh, because it enables all these features. It's not a bait and switch. Um, Google isn't doing this to get you to install the extension, even though obviously they want you to do that. It's actually a technical requirement because of the limitations of the of the channel uh, without a browser extensions help. Um, but this, even without Tag Assistant extension, the single site debug uh, mode is just very, very useful um, and should prove to be a bit of a game changer when we talk about Google Tag Manager's debug and preview capabilities. So that's it for my, my walkthrough. Be sure to check out the article as well and the official documentation and keep a lookout for additional features. I'm sure that this will be fine-tuned and, and improved in the days, weeks and months to come.